Angels hosting the White Sox. The White Sox are plus 105 on the money line. The Angels are minus 125. The over under eight and a half runs. The White Sox getting a run and a half on the run line are minus 185, meaning if you bet them that way and they win this game outright, you win. They lose by one, you win. While the Angels laying a run and a half on the run line are plus 165, meaning if you bet them that way, they have to win by two. Giolito pitched once against the Angels this year. Five innings, three runs, three earned. They won that game 7-3 in Chicago. He struck out five. The White Sox are 5-5 five and five as a team in his last 10 starts. He's averaging five and two-thirds innings pitched and six and a half strikeouts per game in those games. So he's a guy you may want to keep an eye out for on the K-line. For the Angels, Barria pitched once against the White Sox this year. Five innings, one run, one earned. They won that game 12-5, and he struck out six, and that was in Chicago. They've used him both in relief and as a starter. So in his last four starts, the Angels are 4-0. And in those games, he's averaging five innings pitched and 4.1 strikeouts per game in the games in which he started. Head-to-head, head, the home team is 6-4. and four. The home team's on a two-game winning streak. The Angels are on a three-game winning streak. The Angels are 7-3 and three against the White Sox in their last 10. The favorite's on a two-game winning streak. The favorite is 7-3 and three on the money line. The underdog getting a run and a half on the run line is 6-4. and four. There have been three one-run games in their last 10, one in their last three. The under is hitting their last two. The over-under is 5-5. Five and five, And the over-under at 8.5 runs is also 5-5. Five and five. The game they played against each other yesterday, the Angels won 4-2. The game before that, the Angels won 2-1. The game before that, the Angels won 12-5. The game before that, the White Sox won 7-3. The game before that, the Angels won 6-4. The Angels are 4-1 against the White Sox this year. For those who are concerned about the wind, it is blowing towards dead center field at 8.1 miles per hour, right behind the second baseman. The White Sox are on a two-game losing streak. They're 2-2 two two in their last four, 4-6 four in their last 10. The under is hitting their last three games. The under is 5-3-2 five, and, five, and two in their last 10. Five games went under, three games went over, and two games pushed. Nine runs, five runs, three runs, and six runs have been combined in the, Angels last, uh, the White Sox last four games. Five runs in a win, four runs in a win, one run in a loss, two runs in a loss. For the Angels, they're three and one in their last four, five and five in their last 10. The under is hitting their last three. The under is eight and two in their last 10. 26 runs, seven runs, three runs, six runs. That's how many runs have been scored combined in their last four games. 25 runs in a win, three runs in a loss, two runs in a win, four runs in a win. Angels with the money line, Angels laying the runs. I'm going under. These are just my picks. If you disagree, please go with your gut and please bet responsibly.